Okay, so let's see if we can complete this lab. We told to configure the TACX and RADIUS server as follows. So on the AAA server, we need to enable the AAA service, and then we need to specify our clients. First client is router one, that's gonna use this IP address. We'll configure the router in a moment. The secret password that we'll use here is Cisco. The protocol used is TACAX. I'm gonna click add to add that client. Next client is router two. IP address is 10.1.1.253. The password used is Cisco, and in this case, it needs to be radius. Switch one, client IP address is 10.1.1.252. Secret will be Cisco. This device is gonna use TACAX. We then need to add a user. The username is David, the password is Cisco. So that's the server configured. Server has an IP address once again of 10.1.1.250. The first device we need to configure is router one. Here's router one. It's just booted up. It's asking us whether we wanna enter the initial configuration dialog. We don't wanna do that, so I'm gonna say no. I'll configure the router with a host name of R1. So we told to configure AAA for login and enable using TACAX with server 10.1.1.250. Now before we can do that, we need to make sure we have IP connectivity. So I'm gonna configure the router with an IP address on gigabit 000, and I'm gonna no shut the interface. That's per our network topology and we've been given the IP address of the TACAX client. So we know this router needs to be configured with this IP address. So can the router ping the TACAX server 10.1.1.250? Yes, it can. So before we configure AAA, we need to ensure that we have IP connectivity on our devices. I'll do something similar while I'm here with the router 2. So hostname is router 2, interface gigabit 000, no shut, IP address is 10.1.1.2.5.3 slash 24 mask. Can we ping the AAA server? We'll have to wait for spanning tree to converge. While we waiting for that, let's have a look at our switch. Switch has no configuration either. So host name will be switch one, interface VLAN one, no shut, IP address of the switch will be 10.1.1.252. So all I've done is change the switch name and configure an IP address on the switch. So can the switch ping the AAA server? Yes, it can. What about router 2? Can it ping the AAA server? Yes, it can. So I've got IP connectivity between the devices and the AAA server. Now let's configure AAA on router 1. So in global configuration mode, we need to type AAA new model. I'm going to create the backup username called backup password is going to be Cisco. You don't have to use that username if you don't want to. In the real world, you'd use something better, and you could use any name in the lab. In the exam, follow the instructions given. Next thing we need to do is enable authentication. So AAA authentication, we're going to do it for login. We're going to do this for all lines. So console, VTY, auxiliary port, TTYs, VTYs, any line that connects to the router. And we're going to use a group, which is a TACAX group. And then we're going to use local as the backup. We're firstly going to use TACAX as our authentication protocol. 
And then as a backup, we'll use local authentication. We need to do something similar for enable. So for the enable password, we're going to use a group, TACAX group, and then we're going to use a local authentication. So at the moment, we have configured three AAA commands. The last step is to configure the TACAX server. The host is going to be 10.1.1.250. The key will be Cisco. So again, there's our AAA configuration. Here's our TACAX server configuration. Now, AAA and TACAX are security protocols and are therefore used to enhance the security of your network devices. So you need to be careful now. If you log out of your router and you've made a mistake, you may not be able to log back in to your router. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply telnet to the router to check if things are working right. So I'm going to log in as David, password is Cisco. And notice I'm now able to log in to the router even though I didn't configure the VTY lines. So type exit, I'm back on the console of the router. Notice only the console is in use. Show run, go down all the way. Notice a line VTY zero to four isn't configured. By default, we are using triple A for all lines. As soon as you type this command, we are no longer using the local username and password database. Everything is going to use TACAX first and will only use the local username and password database if the TACAX server is not available. So if you're unsure, I suggest you don't save your router's configuration. So if you make a mistake, you can simply reboot your devices. But router one is working. The next step is to configure router two with AAA, but we're using radius in this example. 